Welcome back to this action-packed episode of Chin Strap Chaps. Just got off the phone with T.M. Stevens, and he's not going to be here. Who the fuck, T.M. Stevens? I asked you a question. I would like it to be answered in a promptly manner. Hold on. I don't think I can just tell you who T.M. Stevens is. You have to see who T.M. Stevens is. Is it all? Is it Omar Gooding? No. Oh. I will put up. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in there. Fuck it. T.M. Stevens is a bass player. He's in a band called T.M. Stevens. Oh my. Hold on. Wait. Oh, you bitch. Oh! Damn it. I'll put up a picture of T.M. Stevens. I don't want to get video, because fuck it. Who the fuck is he? Just some guy? He's just some bass player. I know. I don't know. I don't know what bands he. What band is he he's in? I don't know. He's Does just... he suck? No, he's pretty good actually. Oh, okay. He plays like slap funk bass, and he kind of looks like a dude out of like a post-apocalyptic, like, I don't know, because he wears like those like weird like Ooh. tinted goggles and shit. It's really weird. <coughs> I was dying. I'm sorry. I'll find a weird ass picture of TM Stevens. <laughs> and, and if you're curious, and there it is, right there. And if you're curious of TM Stevens, look him up. Don't look him up. You're on Don't. YouTube already. Go ahead and just type it in right up there. Well, after the video is finished, then look up TM Stevens. Or you can interrupt this video and ignore it. I don't really care either way. I, I kind of care. Only slightly. Be a little bit modest, Billy God. What are you talking? What? About? Hmm. I said, be modest. Try to make it seem like you don't care whether or not they watch. I, I care a little bit that they watch, but if, if they don't want, if, they, if they're more interested in T.M. Stevens and watching you play this game, then... Fuck them. Well, that's not a way to talk about our fans. I'm just saying, like, if they want to... If, if their interest has peaked at T.M. Stevens, then maybe they can go and invest their time researching everything there is to know about T.M. Stevens. I don't think anyone cares about T.M. Stevens except for T.M. Stevens Guys, and all the fans. whoever is interested in T.M. Stevens, ask us all your questions about T.M. Stevens in the comment box. And like, I will favorite, tell you subscribe. nothing. Like, favorite, subscribe, and we'll give you everything you need to know about T.M. Stevens. Jackie Chan. No. We gotta get... I don't know shit about T.M. Stevens. So... I know a little bit about Jackie Chan. You can probably just look it up. Look up T.M. Stevens. Like I said, go ahead and... I don't think that's a thing you they can, can just do. You can look it up on YouTube, like I said. No, I'm talking about the burp. Oh. I'm sure you can research that too if you want it. Yeah. Not that particular burp, but burping in general. Yeah, you could just look up... You're about to drown. The art of burping. I'm good. Why is it so much nicer underwater? There's nothing in there. I'm still gonna look. Oh, look, there's nothing I in there. I told you there's nothing in there. Well, you're a piece of shit that likes to spoil everything in this game, even though I've already played it. Hey, what look, are you I talking about? This is your first time ever experiencing Shut this. The fuck up. Don't you lie to me. God damn it. Spores and water. This is the worst hotel ever. I'm never coming back here. One they star. will hear about me on Newegg. One star. Newegg. Oh, shit. It's alright. We're good. It's alright. In town time, I have an innovation all day. What? Something, something. Something about balls. Something about balls. It's all about you. Not me. It's all about things or something, something that rhymes with me. Yeah. It's a nine. Or it's an E. <laughs> or a six. How dare you. 
I would have liked it better if you went, what is this black magic? <laughs> <laughs> what is this shit? I feel like I'm going to be stalked. Dude, it's like a pair of nuts. These nuts. Like a pair of ah! Oh, oh you no! Broke you broke the nuts. Dan it's. Dan Aykroyd? Good guy. Dan Aykroyd? Yeah, good guy. Mert McElroy? No, no, not Mert McElroy. Mert Baccarat? Dan Aykroyd. Good guy. <laughs> he was in Ghostbusters <laughs> Dan and... Dan I don't know what else. <laughs> what, uh, like, comment, subscribe, tell me where Dan Aykroyd is from. Dan that means you, Jerry, because <laughs> you're the only one that's going to do it. Dan Aykroyd? I, why are you saying it that way? What? Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, what about it? Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> it's not Dan Aykroyd. What, what do you mean? It reminds me when Little Mitch, calling out Little Mitch now, we were talking about uh, No Doubt, I think. No Doubt. The band. And um, he said something, like, are we talking about like pop music, and then he said like something about, he's like, yeah, like Gwen Stefan. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you mean Gwen Stefani? He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, her name's Gwen Stefani, not Gwen Stefan. He's like, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like... Um, Gwen Stefan. You are close. Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> Why are you guys missing the last letters of their name? <laughs> you like that? I do. I like that. I think I told you that before, but... Yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, because I think he said it at work. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? It's just Gwen Stefani. <laughs> and he's just like, what? And, he's like, and then he's just like, whatever, man. Whatever. He's <laughs> like, well, like, I'm not expected to know all these people's names. It's like, she's a celebrity, so you, you, you could. Dan Aykroyd is not a... <laughs> not a fucking celebrity. What I went to go about? see the new Johnny D movie. <laughs> <laughs> Where he plays the Indian guy? I hated it. I think it was called The Lone Range. It's called The Lone Range. <laughs> <laughs> G. Lone Rangey. I saw the new Avenge movie with Captain America. Mer I didn't like it. Cap it was Merc. stupid. It was stupid. Americ. It was it barely about America. He had, like, the stupid star on him and everything, and he carried him on the shield. <laughs> a star? He was from World... He was apparently, like, made up during World War One, <laughs> or, or WWI. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. How do you pronounce that? We. Why? We. <laughs> You can make so many pretentious, <laughs> stupid statements by just cutting off the last letter of any single, like, proper name. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <laughs> Guys, in awkward. the comments section, give us many more dumb examples of cutting off the last letter of uh, statements. And see how funny you can make them. I'm just trying to get anybody to s besides Jimmy to comment here. Yeah. Anybody. Oh, no! Oh, no. I don't know what's going to happen. I remember this part fucking, like, I was, like, on my... I was, like, so, like, nervous the first time I played this part. I'm like, <gasps> what's going on? It's fine! And I kept thinking... I kept thinking I saw stuff, like, out the corner of my eye. Yeah. And actually it was there. <laughs> if you actually look. I like how these dudes actually have like mushrooms going on their head. Ew. That's sick. Oh, it's still alive. Okay. It's they, uh. These enemies don't. This is like one of the only times these, these enemies appear in this game. These are the stalkers. And, so uh. They, uh. Do exactly what you think they would do. They stalk your butt. They do stalk you, yes. If you use the listen mode, you can find out where they are, but we don't have that, because we're men. 
Men, 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 menly men, men. I hate that song. Spammity spam! Spammity spam! That's what I think of. Spammity sperm? Spam. Remember that spam skit from Monty Python? Oh, yeah. Where the Vikings are yelling spam. Spam, spam, spam! What are you doing? I was just making sure that they're all dead. I don't think they're all dead. No, there's probably one more. Spammity spam! Spam, 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 spam eggs and sausage. I don't like spam! <laughs> Isn't that dude's name Eric Idle, I think? Yep. Derek Is he one of the dead ones? No, actually, I think he's one of the alive ones. I think... Yeah, I think Him, John Cleese, and... I think that's David it. Spade. David Spade was not a part of that. Oh, well, my mistake. Yeah, I think him and John Cleese were the only ones left. I think. What's his face? Um, so I think it was like Arthur Graham or something like that. He's dead. Yeah. The other dude was like Barry something, I think. Or something. I forgot his name. Barry Sanders. And then Michael uh, Palin? No, Palin? Palin. George, think... George Decay. George Decay is not a part of Monty Python either. I think you're getting all your people mixed up here. Um, I think Gwen Stefan was in it. Oh. I... George Tate. He made out with my neck. <laughs> George Take. Mm. I would be laughing more where I have a pretzel in my mouth. Are you making fun of me? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you're being honest. Oh, yeah. There's some horrific shit going on right now. Um, kind of forgot to acknowledge it before. Ow! No, not this again. Oh, okay, it is it is square. I hitting? always I was hitting triangle. Yeah, it's square. What are you stupid? I always forget which one's which. No, it's square. It's square every single time, except uh, when you have to do those dodge things, and it is triangle, or if you have that shiv master thing where, like, a clicker will grab you, and you have a shiv, then it's triangle, but that skill is kind of... Oh my god! No! Not like this! I legitimately did not see that coming. No, me either. Alright. One more time. One more time! I forgot how the rest of the song goes. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to Daft Punk. I like Daft Punk. No, they're pretty good. I, I mean, I think they make good music. I just never listen to it. I have just never been that avid of a fan. I think they're great. I think they've got really good production. I think, uh, you know, a couple of their songs are pretty darn good. But uh, I just don't. I just never listen to them that much. Yep. I heard that the uh, the Tron soundtrack they did was pretty good, but I had never really listened to it. It was yeah, it was pretty good. I was never uh, I never actually saw that movie. Uh, good movie. Uh, I watched it about three times and then I decided never again because it's long as shit. I would only suggest watching it maybe once. There's a couple like newer movies that. Uh, I probably should see, but I just don't want to. <laughs> it's weird, like, I don't know. I've, I've been saying to everybody, I just haven't really been in the mood for watching stuff. And I haven't been. Yeah. The, most, the most I've been watching is our videos because I have to edit them. That's it. Other than that, like, I haven't really been watching anything. Um, <sighs> fucking... Breaking Bad. <laughs> you see... I have no interest in watching that. Charlie. I love that show. I still need I to watch the first episode of the new season. Yeah, I hear it's good. I have no doubt that it's a good show. I just don't really feel like watching anything. I mean, understandable. It's a very... It, it's something that... That's the kind of game that you really just need to... Uh, game. That's the kind of show that you really just need to sit down and... 
just watch all in one sitting. And it's so good. It's so good. I can't remember which door I have to go through. You have to go down that one right there. Right there? Yeah. Okay, well then I'll go to this one. No, I, th those types of shows end up being pretty good most of the time. Um, you know, where they have like those really... I, I always like these shows where you have to watch every single episode in succession or like in order to understand what's going on. Well, you don't need to. <clears throat> I mean, I I do because that's how I, I, you know, that's how I watch it. Well, yeah. I sit down and... I hate to watch it weekly because I just want to more. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I mean. They're like, like when you watch stuff like Spartacus or Game of Thrones or something like that, you have to. I like the shows that you have to kind of watch, like you know, in order though, because like each episode, like you know, builds off the last one, that sort of thing. Yeah. I like that sort of. Uh, you can't just story you know, arc skip because, around. Yeah, I don't like. I, I don't like it when it skips around too much. I mean, there's a couple shows that I, you know, that I am a fan of that do that. Not very many, but like you know. It all depends on the style of the show. I think the only uh, series that does that that I actually kind of like is Cowboy Bebop. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the only one that's really ever done that where like it kind of skips around and does it well. Trigun did that too, but I don't think it did it to the same effect, I guess. Yeah. That show I, I was kind of expecting like a bigger story out of, and it didn't really give it to me. But it, that was still a good watch that we did there. I love Trigun. It's a, it's a very oh. good show. Yeah. Speaking of which, we still have a couple of those we gotta watch, but I yeah. just, again, I haven't really been in the mood to watch anything, so. We need to watch Alien. We gotta watch Alien. I gotta finish watching the Persona 4 thing, which I just haven't felt like watching that either. Is it bad? Hell no. No. It's really good. Yeah, it's I just really don't good. feel like watching it. <laughs> Actually. Actually, the one thing about that show, or that anime that I don't really care for, is, I'll be honest, it's the action scenes. I mean, they're fine and good and everything. It's they all about great. the story. But right? yeah, that's what I'm, I'm watching it for. I don't, really, I don't give two shits about the battle or how they defeat the enemies. I just want to. See, I just want the the story to be told. And I want the characters to be developed. I, I I care more about seeing the characters interact than I do seeing like all these like flashy fireballs and shit flying all over the place. You know. Down. Finish it. Which is funny because when you're a kid, that's like the complete opposite. You don't give two shits about the story, but you just want to see all the action. Yeah. But no, I, 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 the Persona series is not definitely today. something where it's all yeah. about the characters and the way in which they interact, not so right. much Spread the actual out. like conflict or the actual action more. going on. Because it's like, I don't know, that's secondary to me. Because yeah. it's like you know what you know what you're gonna see. You know what's gonna happen. They're gonna fight it. At most, somebody's gonna you know you're gonna they're at first going to appear weak, but then some sort of weird shit is gonna happen during the battle, and they all of a sudden they have the uh, means to destroy the enemy that they couldn't destroy five minutes ago. Yep, that's pretty much gonna be every single conflict. That is normally how it works because it, it's you never want to see a battle where they're totally just you know they're going to lose. Well, I think it depends on what the story is trying to yes, tell. Like if they want to like to demonstrate simply how strong this you know, bigger character is, then yeah, that's fine. But like, yeah, but when you do that, you know, you actually have to make some consequences, so people are going to right. die. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, you know, watching the action sequences in, in a show like that just bores me because it's like, whatever, man. That's the problem is that they shouldn't bore you. They should, you know. Keep I think, it interesting. I think, well, the thing is for even me... Even if they're not the focus. Well, the thing is for me, like, even just in the Persona series as a whole, I'll be honest with you, maybe because I'm just burnt out on it, because I played Persona 3. Guys, if you haven't played Persona before, I highly recommend you checking out those games. You can pretty much start from anyone. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, that's actually one of those series where you can start anywhere, and I don't mind, which I think is a good thing, because I've never played any of the games before. But there's the, a lot of but it's a lot of content to play through. There's a lot of content to play through, but the thing is is the story is important in each game, but it's open ended enough to where like each game does relate to one another. Yeah. Just very loosely. Like I think the more recent ones they kind of make it a little bit more apparent. Like Persona three and four kind of go more hand in hand than like Personas one and two or anything like that. But anyway, uh even that game took me about hundred and thirty hours to beat. Mm-hmm. Which I think is way too fucking long, but most of that was grinding because that game like demands it. You have to grind in order to beat that game. It's like you just have to be strong enough. It's not even a matter of tactics. You just have to be strong enough. Yeah. And I hate games when they do that, but um, 
that game, like, I just the action and the, the fighting of that <laughs> series, just, I get sick of it, because literally I just sit there for hours just fighting the same shit over and over and That's over. That's one thing about games, is you have to make it so you can't just play, you know, once through everything and then be able to win. You gotta be, there's a middle ground, because you don't want it to be... There's, you know, grinding. You don't want yeah, to grind. I don't like grinding at any point during a game. I mean, like, I don't mind maybe if they have it, like, a little bit, but yeah. it's got to be a right you got to find that area. Yeah, because... Right in between. Because when you get too much, you're just, like, you know, it's just you a get chore. Bored. Yeah, it's a chore. And you just got to sit there and just, like, suck it up and be like, all right, I'm, I, I'm, it's all for a good cause, you know? Yeah. But if you can find that place where you have to only grind maybe once or twice... And only for a little bit, just to get a couple more levels. Mm. Fine. Perfect. But you have to make sure you allude to, you need to get stronger before you fight this person yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. I think a good example of a game that does that pretty well is Legend of Dragoon for the PlayStation 1. Um, that game does it pretty well, and most of the time, it's uh, you do kind of have to grind a little bit, but the thing is with that game, when it comes to grinding, is you can't just like farm one area because most of the base level monsters that you fight like within the world they don't give you that much experience so they're kind of it's kind of basically telling you yeah grinding doesn't really work all that well in this game yeah um you can still do it there's actually one part in the game that i've been stuck at for a long time i haven't played the game in a while anyway but like uh you're on this like ghost ship or something like that and uh i kind of farm that area not because of uh the actual uh, like experience aspect of it, I have leveled up many times by doing this. But the one thing is, they have these like quick time events that you do within the game to like have stronger attacks. And basically, you can unlock stronger attacks if you uh, complete do these quick time events enough times successfully. Uh, so that's the only reason. And it upgrades their dragoon levels. Hmm. If you haven't played Legend of Dragoon, go play the game. It's really good, and it's a really long game too. It spans across four discs on PlayStation One, so that's a pretty big game. Yeah. A game that I like grinding is, uh... Ooh. I'll get back to that in a second. Oh, something's happening. It's time to go fight. We haven't even talked about this game for, like, <laughs> the entirety of this episode. Look at this fucking guy. Stop trying to drown me. Fuck. Dick. Dick, give me that. Give me. Give me. Give me. Come on, it's not that hard. He's holding your arm. Yeah, yeah well, I'm holding his face. Oh! <laughs> what face? <laughs> Sorry. I shot the hell out of that guy, huh? Fucking language! He sure did. I feel sick. She gets over it pretty you quick. came back like I told you to. Well, you're glad I didn't, right? Yeah. I'm glad I didn't get my head blown up by a goddamn kid. You know language. what? No. How about, hey, Ellie, I, I know it wasn't easy, but it was either him or me. Thanks for saving my ass. You got anything like that for me, Joel? A little. We gotta get going. Would you like a popsicle? Lead the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're going to be disappointed because I don't know where to get any popsicles. <laughs> All right. Um, well, okay. Hurry game. up! Hurry up here. We don't have much time. Game grinding. I like that's good. You know, it is kind of tedious. Dark Souls. Yeah. Well, that game. There's kind it's of because that for it. you know that Dark Souls, Demon Souls. It breeds right at the fucking start. Hey, this game is hard. <clears throat> well, that game too. Um, unlike a lot of other games, you learn a lot as a player by simply just doing. Yeah. Like playing the game and doing that sort of thing. Because that's what it is. It's, you play. Because you're not. You're not going to learn. Yeah. Well, the one thing I like about that game is, like, it kind of relies more on the player rather than, like, the gear and shit that you have. Or, like, how strong you are. I mean, being, you know, being strong in that game is obviously, like, a big component of it, but it kind of relies more on, like, you making the judgment of, like, whether or not you should go into a situation or how you handle a situation or whatever. Uh, I think that's why a lot of people might find that game challenging is because it doesn't most other games it's just a matter of getting the best equipment and just spamming the attack button 
that game you can't do that. No, you, <laughs> actually, you actually have to... Uh, you actually have to prioritize targets and think and do that sort of thing. Which, I love that game for... <clears throat> it's alright. The story... Eh. It's, it's kind of there. The, the world that you're in is cool, but it doesn't really expand upon anything. Yeah, it's one of those minimalistic stories. But hey guys, next time on Chin Strap Chaps, uh, the next episode of Last of Us, we're going to play Dark Souls. I don't, I don't think so. That would be a little uh, contradictory. It turns out oh, there's a working PS3 and a copy of Dark Souls in The Last of Dude. Us. Dude! Gameception! That'd be weird. Yeah.